Hold on, y'all. This is my second time coming to Walmart today, and I'm pissed off. Because if I knew I had the darn going to get this, I would have got it earlier today when I grocery shop. So, and then, for whatever reason, it is strangely busy all day today. I have not door dashed. But I've looked throughout the whole day, and it's been busy throughout the whole day. I hope it's like that um, by Wednesday. I can't dash tomorrow because the person is finally coming out for our oven after three weeks. We have been we brought a brand spanking new oven, and after three weeks, we're finally getting the darn gone repair person to come out and got, uh, uh, come look at it. But needless to say, our heater has gone out. Our central air unit, it will not turn on. Ain't this by the blimp? And now it wants to get back cold. Now, fortunately for the weekend, it actually stayed relatively warm, surprisingly. But now it's getting back ice cold. And my thing is this. What is this darn old slumlord going to do if the pipes end up freezing? Now, fortunately enough, it's still above freezing. But... Does this bitch think she about to do us like she did the old man? And that's why I, that's why I done told the demon. And hell, if she wanted to do the old man like that to stay next door to us, who done relocated temporarily um, up north, what you make? What you think she gonna do to us? It's like you done fucked up and done got behind on the rent. He was darn gonna current on his rent and darn gonna still was in the cold. With a darn gone hole in the roof at that for him. So now I done went and darn gone. I was what I was gonna purchase it on Amazon. But I said, Aunt, I can't wait two days. It's cold right now. So I done went and got me a darn gone mini space heater for me to darn gone set up tonight. And that's why I can't do my video. Now I'm doubled up on video starting off the new year. I posted done three today three tomorrow and then I upload them every day for people who like to say I upload videos every day that's how I do it I do I, I take one or two days and I do like three videos all at once and then I upload them throughout the week but I'm really going to be doubled up tomorrow but why I was in the heater aisle honey I found this as well a UV sanitizer so of course I got this as well and then I forgot my Mayday I'm Team Duke, honey. Duke and Miracle Whip is my favorite brands of mayonnaise. I know somebody going to be like, well, technically, Miracle Whip is a salad dressing. Well, I, I use it in place of mayonnaise. But, yeah, I mainly came here for this darn going um, heater. This was just a nice bonus. I'm going to keep this in the car and stuff. This is very convenient. I mean, a sanitizer UV ROM. It kills the germs and stuff within a matter of 30 seconds. You can put it over the toilet seat. So if you're at somebody else, you know, house, and you, you're like me, you're a squatter, you know, <laughs> this comes in handy. Because you still got to put your hands down on the, at least for me, uh, your pillow, you know, when you're touching sinks and stuff, honey, th this is a good thing to have in your purse, ladies. <laughs> like, when you go into the bathrooms and stuff, honey, hit that darn on UV light on that ass. And like I said, very good for the day. I I'm surprised I didn't have one of these sooner. Especially you, because I'm so used to my uh, universal uh, cabbie, you know, where I put my tools and stuff in, my black light for my um, professional tools. I never had a portable version, so I'm glad I now got a portable version. I can't wait to try this out. But like I said, as a dasher, I should have been had something like this. Well, anyways, let me go. Oh, shoot, cars might be coming. I'm like, I ain't the only one shopping late at night. Motorcycle and everything. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, the whole bike crew here. Yeah. Okay, y'all. But yeah, an interesting way to start off my new year. Starting off my new year with the slumlord darn gonna freeze my darn gonna behind him. Oh, 
See, I normally don't have no spare cash or whatnot, uh, but I got $2. Oh. I can't let a doggone be like that, y'all. I, I got to do it, y'all. No. No. Hey. Here you go. You're welcome. Have a good evening. I try to help out whenever I can, y'all. And unlike other people, I don't need the camera to be on. It just happened. I, I was recording with y'all. But yeah, this darn on Slum Lord is darn going planning on freezing us the damn deal. Damn trip. I can see why our darn on neighbor done got gone. I don't know when we're going to see him again. Probably be about springtime before we see him. And it's not even due to the cold because, like I said, he went up north where it's even colder. So he was just over our neighbor's bullshit. Because, you know, like I said, the, the roof part of his darn on apartment none of, um, came in and darn on fucked up all his shit to hear him darn on say. And, and now she done finally somewhat done patched the darn on roof over the past couple weeks. But it's like, honey, a little bit too little too late at this point in the game. You know, fucked up several, uh, hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of his shit. Oh, why I'm turning the light off? I need to keep this light on. But yeah, hopefully she gets somebody out here in a timely manner. Because y'all know how it is in North Carolina. We, we can have snow all the way up until like April. I mean, you know, it, is, it will start snowing in April. And hell, even some days in May it can still be cold. We got the most craziest weather, I, I tell you. Hot on Christmas Day and can be darn gone snowing on April Fools. I just got finished watching um, Chase in Atlanta and I said I was going to cancel it. But honey, that Kendra, just when I want to write her ass off, she does something that makes me so proud of her ass. I'm actually going to do, and I know it's late as per usual, but I'm actually going to do a review of Chasing Atlanta episode 9 just off of Kendra alone. Because, you know, I, I, I drag a bitch. And I ain't just talking about the females on the show. I, I drag a bitch when they, when they fuck up. But y'all know, I have to commend them when they do something right. And honey, she, 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 was, on, she was on it this episode, honey. I, I, I was here for Miss Darg on Kendra. So... Yeah, I don't like to just darn on tear the girls down. I got to darn on lift them up as well. So, y'all will be getting a review of Chasing Atlanta after all. Overall, this was a very good episode. And it's one more into the season finale. I wonder if they're going to have an in-person reunion. Or more likely, they do it virtually. Uh, I guess that'll prevent, you know, any fights from happening. Because I, I just also uh, watched um, the Come Up Miami reunion earlier today. And I got to do a, a review on that. Which I'll post to be in the day. But once again, due to the fact that I had to go to the store to stock up on waters. And then have to come right back here. I'm supposed to be recording now. And when I get back to the house, I, I'm calling it a night. I know it's only 8 o'clock. But like I said, I got to... 
I got a hectic week to deal with leading up to my birthday. And I'm thinking that after this person fits this stove tomorrow, I'm just going to dedicate all of Tuesday to recording. And I will only come back and do some more recordings unless it's something major going on. But I'm going to try to do like five or six recordings all tomorrow. And that'll last me all throughout the week. Because what I'm going to do this week is... I'm still going to be recording, but I'm not going to upload them. Because y'all know I'm a week behind on my door dashes. So the dashes that I do this week, y'all won't see until next week. Because of the way my video format is set out. But it, like I said, if it keeps being busy like this on DoorDash, honey, I'm going to try to pull my first 30 plus hour um, shift up in DoorDash. The most that I've done through DoorDash is 17 hours in a week. I'm going to try to aim for 30 hours this week, starting on Wednesday, which means Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I, I, you know what, Saturday I look and see if I, I see a notification from a certain somebody D. Uh, and if I don't see no video post, honey, I, I guess I schedule myself a Sunday too. So, those five days, that means I need to work like six hours on average each day to get to 30 hours. Come on, delivery. Honey, because I sure ain't delivering shit right now. That darn on dollar peak pay ain't moving me. Although, it's been like that the whole day, though. Like I said, usually we have little spots throughout the day where it's just not busy at all. I don't know what is it about this Monday. Honey, it look like none of y'all set no uh, New Year's resolution goal of weight loss, honey. But then again, I, I guess y'all saying, well, shit, we still on house arrest. We really can't go out like that. And then I haven't even paid attention to darn gone Governor McCoy. I, I think we still on darn gone house restriction and all that. But y'all know I don't go outside the house anyway. So that's why I don't even really pay attention to it. I'm out the house right now, but it ain't nowhere near 10 o'clock, though. So, since I don't go clubbing, that, that's why I don't really pay attention. But I really do need to be paying attention, though, of all the other stuff. That's, especially if you get to want to try to shut us beauticians and stuff down again. It's like, God damn. That little $1,000 that they're going to um, give me for this, uh, for this grant ain't going to darn on cover if he darn going to shut us down. Lord, you know it's bad. It's so cold. I can see the darn going uh fog coming up out in the darn on sewers. I swear if this raggedy landlord have our pipes freeze, I, I, I'm going to be done with her. I'm going to be done with her. I'm literally seeing the darn on uh, fog come out the damn sewer. Y'all see this how my week got to go y'all starting off See, we, we're starting off the birthday month wrong. Shout out to Auntie Tina. It's her birthday today. 67 years old, honey. Still thriving. Hopefully, I'll be thriving come, you know, 28, honey. Come to 12, turning 28, hopefully, I'll be thriving this year. But right now, Oof. Just a miss, y'all. But that is it, y'all. That's my little spiel of all the shit that's going on with moi. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. I keep y'all updated. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. I'm now turning in. Mwah.